The historic deal with Iran in a moment and already outraged tonight does it go far enough. But we begin this evening with that massive terror attack. Gunmen in combat gear storming a college campus in Kenya into dorms reportedly taking aim at Christians. This woman wounded being helped away at least 147 killed in cold blood. It began early this morning and lasted for hours. Police crouched there hunting for the gunman. Tonight, the four suspected gunmen now dead, the Al-Qaeda-linked terror group Al-Shabaab claiming responsibility. In recent weeks, calling for attacks here in the U.S., citing the Mall of America. ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, leading us off. Terrified students struggling to walk, escaping a massacre that lasted more than 13 hours. It began before sunrise, the terrifying thud of a grenade at the university gates, then gunfire. Terrorists strapped with explosives, going from dormitory to dormitory. The gunmen were methodical, reportedly demanding to know who was Muslim and who was Christian. Anyone who said they were Christian was killed on the spot. With the siege still underway, Al-Shabaab, an Al-Qaeda affiliate, claims responsibility, calling it an operation against infidels. The Kenyan military descending on the scene, tanks, guns drawn. Two hours after the attack began, the four gunmen are finally isolated in a women's dorm, but they are not finished. The gunshot continued. And this made us to run to the fence so that we can uh, get our way out from the school. It would take all day before the siege was over, the four gunmen dead, and the magnitude of this attack finally clear. 147 dead, nearly 100 wounded, and the nearly 500 survivors traumatized beyond words. Universities in Kenya were warned just last week they were targets for al-Shabaab. The group was also behind the 2013 attack on the Westgate shopping mall in Nairobi, a four-day siege that left 67 people dead. As you point out, Martha, they were behind that mall attack in Kenya as well. How much do authorities make of their recent threats, even naming the Mall of America? Well, they are concerned, David. That threat was made in a video from Al-Shabaab posted online in February, specifically calling for an attack on that massive mall in Minnesota. And David, remember that Al-Shabaab has recruited some 20 Somali Americans to fight with Al-Shabaab in Somalia. One of them became the first known American suicide bomber, David. All right, Martha Raddatz live in Washington tonight. Martha, thank you.